Introduction to layouts. Our first step in making an AutoCAD drawing is to model our real world objects in model space. Down here is model. It's selected by default and we have been drawing our models in model space since the start of this textbook or the start of this class. Once we have completed the model we go over to layout and paper space. If we select over here, this is down here, it's called sections and details. This is a name of a layout. A layout, there can be multiple layouts in paper space. Paper space represents our paper that we plot on. Typically in our layouts, we will put floating viewports. These are these magenta boxes. You can think of them as holes cut through the paper looking into our model space. We have our border which is our four big lines around the edge of the drawing. We have our title block. Here it's a vertical title block with all the information on what the project is, who designed it, what day did they draw it on, what's the scale factor, etc. Our general notes, any notes that go out into the drawing that refer to everything in the drawing. A bill of material, a parts list, schedules, a legend, any type of list will go in our paper space. We'll all set, also set up uh, things such as our titles, our north arrows, our graphic scales will all go on this particular layout. A very key component to working in paper space is a floating viewport. This right here is a floating viewport. It's a hole cut through our virtual piece of paper looking into our model objects. We usually will put this on a layer. Uh, you can see the layer name for this is PS Viewport. We'll be able to freeze these layers so that you don't see these boxes around our items that we drew. We can also use these floating viewports to scale our different objects. If I zoom in, you'll see this is a quarter inch equals a foot. But yet, if I zoom in on this one, this is three inches equals a foot. They're all drawn at real life scale, but we're able to zoom in differently on each one. Uh, we can have multiple viewports in it, as many as we like. Um, but the whole idea is for this layout called sections and details is to mimic a sheet of paper in that we can mimic all the things that will go on the sheet of paper but yet over in our model space we draw full size full scale however big the object is and over on our piece of paper we represent those objects on our sheet of paper.